everyone. Welcome to our live stream. Um, Hi, welcome to episode, uh, was it, 121? Yes, uh, we are going to be going over how to set up Alexa on your Matrix devices. <laughs> Alright, so similar to what we did um, on the, it was a 119? Or like yeah, 120? Yeah, uh, We're making a video, you know, to complement the Google Assistant one we made. So, um, yeah, so time so, to get started. Yeah, I'll switch over to the computer. Okay. All right. So, you know, uh, similar to what we did last time, right now we have, uh, let me move a bit closer to the mic. So similar to what we have last time, we're going to just base it off the Hackster guide. I'm just going to walk you through it. So, you know, you have the written guide and the, uh, you know, something visual to follow along with. So uh, for all this, um, is there any way, does this seem right on the camera? Yeah. Um, yeah, nope. here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna need a uh, matrix creator or voice you know with a raspberry pi and um you know like an audio jack speaker to actually hear the um output you're gonna get from alexa so let me put that back there all right so time to get started uh you know scrolling down uh we're gonna go jump straight into uh let's get started okay um so to similar to what we did before um for alexa you're gonna have to set up some you're gonna have to go to an Amazon developer account and set up some credentials. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So we're gonna go to uh, here, follow step-by-step -step instructions for step one. There we go. Okay, so we have uh, some documentation to follow. Uh, log into Amazon developer portal. Okay, so we're gonna just um, go to step number two and open that. Actually, you can just click that right there. Um, there we go. So that'll uh, send you to the Amazon Alexa kind of like dashboard. Um, you know, if it doesn't show you this page, all you have to do is make an account and then you, know, you just click the link again. So it should be very straightforward. So we're going to click on getting started. And to start, you're going to click on products. And you're going to create a new one. Because when you have an Alexa device, um, the way you set it up is that you technically create a new product. So, you know, we're just going to give it like a random name. So just call it uh, oh, Matrix uh, Assistant. Uh, product ID. We're gonna go with matrix underscore assistant. You know, it doesn't actually matter what you name these. Uh, for the most part, oh, did I misspell assistant? Yeah, I did. <laughs> We're just gonna name it that. Okay. Um, for the product type, let me also zoom in a bit. You're gonna do a device with Alexa built in. Um. Does your device use a companion app? You're going to click no. Um, for product category, you're going to scroll down to others and just give a whatever description you want. And then just move on. You're going to check mark on the hands free option and the touch initiated. Uh, the guy didn't specify to, you know, select far field, but I'm just going to leave that alone. And if you want to mess around with that, you know, feel free to. Um, and for all these options down here, you're just going to hit no on all of them. And then just click next. Okay, and now we're going to make a security profile. So for here, just, you know, um, if you don't have one, just make create a new profile. Uh, just put matrix uh, security. And copy that to the description. Um, I don't know, my personal... Oops. Misspelled that. I'm not good with this keyboard. My personal uh, assistant. All right. Next. There we go. So we have the security profile. Um, you're gonna want to scroll down to where you have like the web, Android, Kindle, iOS options, and then you're gonna go to other devices and platforms. Click on that, and just make up some client name. So we're gonna call it uh, the coolest assistant. And then uh, once you have a name, you're going to generate the ID. And once you have the ID, you're going to want to click on download. So we're going to need the credentials in there. So I'm going to open that up here. OK. Give it a second. So we're going to have this and you know just leave it down there for now. Um, OK, so once you have that, you're going to want to scroll down a bit more and check mark on the agree option and click on finish. Okay, the product is not created, and we're all set with the uh, you know GUI stuff we have to do on the websites. Uh, now we can actually just set up the assistant. So I'm gonna go back here. Um, 
So now there's two ways to go around with this guide. You have the option of installing it manually yourself, which takes longer, or uh, we already provide an image with all of the dependencies installed if you want to just do it in like a few minutes. Um, if you do do it manually, uh, keep in mind um, on one of the installation parts, it will fail like three times before it succeeds. It's a little weird, but basically yeah. you're doing it, it fails, but it gets a little further and then you do it again, fails, it gets a little further. Um, but it'll, it'll like, after like three tries, it'll work. Um, but for this one, we're going to use a pre-installed image. If you go here, uh, after a little down in step one, uh, we have the link to it right there. So we're going to skip to step four and registering your Pi as an Alexa device. That's where we're going to uh, move off on. So with everything there, um, the credentials we had before, we're going to add it to, um, our image. So whether you have the, uh, image we gave you or um, you know you install the dependencies yourself. Um, you're gonna see these files in there for the most part. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you did it yourself, you might miss like a few of these, but it's not important. So you're gonna open up config.txt. So to open that in the terminal, you're gonna type in nano uh, config.txt, and then you're gonna have you know just like an editor in there. And all you have to do is copy and paste uh, for what you need. So you know copy and place, copy and paste the client ID into the client ID. So let me just put that, oh, my bad. <laughs> uh, copy that there. And then uh, copy the matrix assistant, uh, which is the product ID, and paste that there. And then to, you know, this is nano, so to get out of that, you're gonna press Control X, uh, hit Y, the letter Y, uh, then press Enter. And we're, um, for those of you that don't know, we're SSH. Um, you can look that up on how to do it on Windows or Linux, or, you know, Mac, you can see what we're doing. Um, and you know, you can find tutorials on this stuff. Uh, we cover it on one of the earlier videos. I think it was setting up your matrix device. Uh, I think it was episode, uh, one. <laughs> 101. Yeah, 101. <laughs> so we've had 101 or 121. <laughs> so, um, okay. So we have that all set up. So the next thing to do is run this script. So just copy that here, paste that there. Uh, you're going to type in agree in all caps. I don't know if it matters, but yeah, just to be safe. Um, Type in yes. Let me expand that so you can see more. Okay, now it's gonna want me to like view the license agreement, so I'm just gonna, you know. You know, as usual, we never read the license agreement, so it's kind of like checking the box. I mean, th th this is this is all a fake account, so it doesn't actually matter. I know. So, <laughs> <laughs> in real life. Once you're done, you know, holding enter and going through all that, you're gonna hit yes. Uh, now it's just gonna build some stuff for you, and now you have like yeah, a few like seconds. Granted, since we already have the dependencies installed with the, you know, pre-built image, this is going to be a lot faster than if you did it yourself. Um, I'd say you save, like, maybe half an hour to 20 minutes. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's already almost done. So, if you don't have, like, anything, mm. like, severely important on your Pi already, it makes a lot of sense to use the image. Okay. Yeah. So, now that we have that, you're going to reboot your Raspberry Pi. So, sudo reboot. And, uh, yeah, now we just wait. For the Pi to restart, we'll go back in and then we'll run Alexa. Let me make sure everything's good here. Yep. Yeah, uh, reboot and then we're gonna run Alexa. So, give that a second. Did you confirm the hmm? device? on the Alexa GUI? Yeah, I hit the okay. check mark agreement. Yeah, I just, okay. Last time I just forgot to hit the agreement. Okay, Okay. so um, once you have it running, all you're going to do is copy this one line, uh, start sample.sh, and just paste it in there. And then uh, it's going to do a, you know, spit up a bit of code. Yeah. So all you have to do is scroll and the up. the lights on your Alexa yeah. will turn blue as soon as you hit that like this. Yeah. Yeah. So we're almost done. The last thing to do is to give it access to our account. So if you scroll up on the terminal, you're going to see to authorize browse to some Amazon code. Uh, so you're going to open that link. So you can do command click on Mac, right? To open yeah. It? Oh, no, it's just on our terminal. I don't know on, about the, on the terminal. I mean, uh, you can just copy and paste it into a true, browser. True, true. So uh, actually, I'm just going to do that to show people. Um, yeah. So yeah, just uh, copy that. Uh, copy. Open it in the Wii, your web browser. And then you'll be like prompted to either log into your Amazon uh, account. And when you already do, or if you already have, uh, just copy the code at the end over here, and then just paste it in there. So once we paste it, continue, and allow, and you're done. Yay. So 
Yeah, uh, that's it. Um, if you want to test it out right now, we have. Should we switch to this yeah, camera switch to this so camera. that they can see it? Here. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go down. So okay. yeah, uh, that's it. Your Alexa Wait, should let me be. Bring it. Oh. Sorry, I haven't yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now your Alexa should be set up. So just do a uh, Alexa, tell me a joke. Actually, my friend Jimmy Fallon wants to tell a joke. Let's give him a shot. What did the horse say to the scarecrow? Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you think? Should I let Jimmy tell the jokes for a while? No. Okay, so no um <laughs> So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You have an Alexa. Let me just say, tell me a Jimmy Fallon joke. Wow, Alexa is sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need, and yeah, your Alexa device is ready to go. Uh, if you want to scroll back here. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll switch back to the screen right there. Okay. So um, yeah, it's ready to go. You know, it's running, and you can call it whenever you want. Um, you're on that screen, okay? Yeah. Yeah, um, and if you want to increase the audio, what was the uh, A command? mixer. A set mixer. PCM. PC, oh, PCM. All caps, a hundred percent. So yeah, if you use this command um, for this session at least for the terminal session, it'll raise the uh, volume to the max. So let me put that back in. Can you switch back? Yeah, switch back to this. Um, there you go. Plug it in. You plug might want to lower the volume a little. Cause nah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So Alexa. Oh wait, I killed the. Uh, hold oh, on. Let me restart. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> let me start the session again. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alexa, what time is it? The time is eight forty-one p.m. That's okay, fine. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, bad. So uh, you can increase the volume on that. And if you have a stronger speaker, you know, even better. Uh, so yeah, if you want to switch back to us, let me yeah. roll it up here. Physical switching. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, that was, um, OK, yeah, yeah that, that was, was setting up Alexa. <laughs> setting up Alexa. Um, wow, that was really quick. Me, uh, I feel like unplug that. Yeah. every stream gets more and more efficient mm -hmm. with how quickly we go through these guides. Yeah, we just test them really quick and have them ready to go. So this will be going up on the Hexter guide if it's not already. Yeah. And yeah, that was pretty much it. So now we're going to move on to announcements. You know, if you are just wanted to follow the guide, you can stop here. Or if you want to follow along with the announcements, you know, stay, you can stay a bit longer. I recommend listening to the announcements. They're only a couple minutes. <laughs> so um, as we've mentioned many times before, we have a contest with Hexter coming up. Uh, it will be sometime mid-May. We will mm -hmm. post on that, like, you know, update on that soon. Mm -hmm. um, another exciting thing, we're actually going to be going to the Bay Area Maker Fair, mm -hmm. May 17 to 19. <laughs> It'll be me, Carlos, and Alfred, so the whole Matrix trio that you love so much. <laughs> um, and we're actually going to be, you know... It, in this Bay Area, like San Fran, mm -hmm. for, you know, meetings with Hackster, we're doing workshops at the garage, it'll be fun, like, if you want to meet us, like, the day before or the day after, mm -hmm. like, Maker Fair, um, you know, let us know, we'll definitely, like, update, like, on social and the community on uh, how... Yeah, you can just, like, you know, uh, send us, like, a tweet on Twitter or yeah, wherever, you know, wherever exactly. we have social media. So like, hey, uh, you guys there or something, and we'll respond and, you know, let you know. Yeah, so just, like, come meet us at Bay Area mm -hmm. Maker Fair. Talk to us, like, you know, ask us questions, whatever. Mm -hmm. Make fun of our live streams. We're okay with that. Um, and so one other thing, uh, the last announcement is mm -hmm. the, so Project 14 is going to have a live stream on May 29th. It's going to be... Uh, yeah, like pretty soon after Bay Area Maker Fair, and mm -hmm. the theme will be robotics, uh, similar to the Matrix Creator one we already did. Um, this one will be more focused around Matrix Voice and robotics in general, and it'll be pretty fun. We'll post a link mm -hmm. to it when it comes out, and mm -hmm. yeah, so that's all we have. No, wait, there's one more. Uh, oh. The announcement, so can you switch to the screen? Oh, yes. Okay, Carlos has an announcement. Wait, okay. I, need, I need the mouse to switch to the oh, screen. Sorry. You're hogging. <laughs> okay, mouse, go here. Go. Okay, so the final thing is that uh, we've added experimental support for the Ruby language for Matrix Lite. Um, so if you're a fan of Ruby or wanted to get to know it, um, you know, this is early on. We don't have, like, a nice wrapper for it, so it's, like, the raw implementation of uh, the SWIG interface we made. And, yeah, so it's, like, you know, here's an example of, uh, you know, like, the direct example with, like, no uh, abstraction for you. So you can, you know, this is, like, setting all the ever loops in Ruby to the color, uh, what was it, red? What's red and green make? Orange, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. so. <laughs> that'll set it to orange. And um, yeah, just like, you know, something you want to play around with. We have an IMU example down there. Um, and the rest of it follows the uh, Python examples we had before. Like, I can show you right here. So similar to the swig examples.py we have on the... zoom in again? Oh, uh, yeah. In our Python repository, the Ruby uh, the implementation follows essentially that right now, you know, similar to here. 
Um, so yeah, if you want to try that out, you know, it's experimental. You know, we're going to play around with it and see if we officially support it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just want to switch to the end? Yeah. Um... Yeah, and that concludes uh, this episode. Um, so yeah, thanks Thank for joining in. Thank you for in. watching. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, bye. Bye. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop the stream.